Hi, we're here at OFC 2017 in Los Angeles, California. We're here with Dr. Meint Schmidt from Eindhoven University in the Netherlands. Dr. Schmidt, thank you for joining me today. Um, in your plenary presentation, you t talked about notable advancements in integrated, op uh, integrated photonics. Can you pause, tell, tell us more about that? Yeah, I think we have seen in the past decade a number of important steps. In Europe, uh, yeah, first important uh, step was that around 10 years ago, in 2007, we saw that there was uh, serious industrial interest in introducing the foundry model in photonics. And, uh, but at that time we had uh, nothing, so we had to develop the processes, we had to develop the design kits uh, and set up the whole ecosystem. So we started with that and we started actually with uh, academic processes. So it was more pioneering than uh, really industrial. But in uh, around 2010, then two industrial foundries, uh, two industrial companies joined, and then it became more serious. And in 2013, we started uh, providing commercial access to our foundries. That was a very important step. In the beginning, uh, most of our customers were uh, were universities who were very pleased with the low prices uh, that uh, we had in this model but we see now that an increasing number of uh, customers is coming from industry and we have even now the first companies that are now selling products which have photonic integrated circuits inside so that's uh, another very important step well, I think it's also important that in the US uh, this uh, $600 million AIM Photonics program has been started and that will really give it a boost, not only in the US, I think through the whole world. So these are a few important things. And here at OFC we see that uh, really the, the interest of companies in uh, photonic integration is booming. So I expect that we are at the beginning of a very interesting uh, period. Fantastic. What industries do you feel have the most impact? Yeah, I think that uh, the industries that will have most impact are the equipment makers. So the equipment manufacturers, it is at the moment the manufacturers of telecoms and uh, datacom equipment. And by using photonic integrated circuits, their equipment will become much smaller, much faster and, and uh, less expensive. So if they don't do it and their competitors do, they will get out of the market. So they will have to. But it will also happen in other fields. We see that in the fields of uh, sensors, sensor applications, there is also an increasing number of companies interested in applying these photonic integrated circuits. Another important one where there's interest is in the car industry. You, you know these Google cars with the big instruments on top that look around for, for people and uh, obstacles. Well, if you uh, use photonic integrated circuits, you can make these instruments, they are called LiDARs, you can make them much smaller. So there's also great in interest in the automotive industry for using photonic integrated circuits. And I can also mention uh, medical applications, so for measuring uh, malicious tissue in your, in your skin or in your arteries. Photonic chips can do an interesting job, so I think there's... There's a lot of impact, mainly in, uh, in manufacturers of all this kind of equipment, which will, be, will, which will get better, smaller and cheaper. Dr. Smith, what excites you about your work today? Yeah, well, what, what is most exciting, I think, that we are just at the very beginning of a major development. We are at the point now where microelectronics was 40 years ago. And see what happened to microelectronics. It is everywhere. You cannot imagine what the world would look like without microelectronics. And in photonics, we are going to see a similar development in the coming decades. So I think it's uh, really uh, an excellent time for young people to step in and to join this exciting development. Perfect. Thank you so much, sir. Signing off from OFC 2017.